Hello, this is Solar PV TV from EU PVSEC 2016. In Solar Pioneers in Private Series with uh, General Shu, I think a man who needs no introduction, one of the founders of the solar industry and one of the people thanks to whom we are here actually. Uh, Ni hao, General. Hi, Thomas. So, General, first question. I would like to ask you a, a bit about uh, your feedback um, with regards to EU PVSEC. Uh, 2016. What do you think about um, the conference? You know, I have been attending EU PVSEC for many, many years, probably back, you know, 20 years, you know, when I started to come here to attend uh, uh, EU PVSEC back in 1996. Mm -hmm. So then I, I think uh, I've all come to this uh, conference of, almost every year. Mm -hmm. So I think um, EU PVSEC is a great uh, platform for uh, scientists, you know, engineers, students, and also you know, entrepreneur businessmen to exchange the progress in in technology, you know, engineering, product development, and uh, you know, business development. I think especially uh, since 2004, you know, when German government introduced the EEG, the whole European market in you know, actually uh, was booming. So played the leadership in in promoting PV applications. So and sometimes European market was like 90% of the global market and Germany it was 80% of the global market, yes? Exactly, so, so especially during those years, I think, uh, you know, uh, EU PVSEC was, was especially, you know, uh, uh, useful and, and uh, you know, helped the industry and uh, helped the rest of the world uh, to advance, you know, PV technology and, and engineering uh, very much. So I think it's a great conference and uh, Probably this day I'm, uh, I'm busy, but the EU PVSEC is the only PV conference I come every year. Oh, yeah. That's so fantastic. And it's also very interesting because um, you founded uh, your first company with your technology background, yes? Uh -huh. so, so your company was actually founded uh, through the knowledge, yeah? Uh -huh. Yes. Um, yes, when I founded Suntech back in 2001, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, I, had a, I was much younger, you know, I had a lot of idea, vision, ambition, so, um, so I did it, and uh, with courage, with help of you know government, friends, and and, and uh, you know uh, university people. So, yeah, it's actually uh, astonishing to myself. You know, Suntech became so successful, and uh, it's, it's you know I think Suntech and many Chinese companies you know play uh, a, a lot of role and contribute greatly uh, to the cost reduction of PV modules in the world. You know, I remember when I started, solar panel price was about five euro per watt, but now it's fifty euro cents per watt. So only about fifteen years later. So I think this is really attribute to several factors. Firstly, is I think uh, you know uh, government uh, policy, especially like German EEG. Mm -hmm. You know, second is uh, technology. You know, the technology advancement, and thirdly is uh, investment capital market. So the industry had a lot of money. Okay, to to grow the industry, you know, to develop the supply chain, and the fourthly is, you know, probably one of the most important is supply chain development. So there was no supply chain, you know, before that time. So when we started, you know, we we realized we have to develop supply chain, which we did. So that's uh, you know, uh, four reasons, you know, which uh, uh, caused the dramatic, you know, cost reduction of solar panels. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And I would like to ask you this question because I know very well one of your first team members in marketing, Richard, yes. and he sends you the best regards. And I would like to ask you because you are coming from the technology side, yes? But um, I was always, um, let's say, under impression how Suntech introduced the first brand because normally in China people they don't think about branding. So what was the idea behind you know to make a branding? Yeah? Because it's it was not so usual, usual actually for the industry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think for uh, branding is for, for 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 a few things. First of all, branding is is a product itself. Okay, you have to make sure you make a good good product. Mm -hmm. People can brand believe you. You know, if you only like uh, do marketing and promote a brand, you don't have a good product. I mean, eventually, brand does not have meat, does not have yeah. content. So, so in my case, because of my you know strong technical background and international network, so I was. You know, people did some research say I'm a global entrepreneur, you know, at birth. So, of course, you know, I started a company in China. I could do the same maybe in Germany, in U.S., in Japan, you know. And because 
I was original Chinese. That's why I decided to do it in China. So, so by my blood, you know, I know it's a, you know, it should be technical performance and quality driven, you know, product. And and also, you know, like uh, we were the first, you know, Chinese company, you know, making this such yeah. product and uh, and uh, and sell in in Western countries in Germany. So people, they suddenly they become wow, this product is pretty good. You know, who who's the guy making this one? Oh, Suntech. So. And afterwards, I think you know something just uh, plus the story behind it, and uh, yeah, people just accepted the the, the brand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the brand. Yeah. Took me a month to think of this name. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, um, General, but now uh, because we speak too much about business, actually it should be more private. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, when you were a child, yes, normally when we are children, we are thinking, you know, dreaming to become like policeman, doctor, and uh, etc. So, actually, what was your dream when you were a child? Yeah, when I was a child, I always dream, um, uh, you know be an engineer, mm -hmm. so I, I didn't dream I could be a uh, you know, soldier, mm -hmm. okay, or salesman, no I didn't, I, I was dreaming myself as an engineer. So you had the chance to realize your dream actually? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm a very lucky one, yeah. And uh, now I would like to ask you one question, because um, I mean, uh, as you notice that uh, in business it's sometimes, you know, it's growing, it's uh, happy days, everybody likes you, yes. but sometimes we have also difficult moments. Yes. And uh, what keeps you fighting in this kind of moments? Okay, yeah, as up and down, you know, sometimes could be very frustration and so on. So I think the most important is, um, first of all, you have to make sure, you know, I did all the right thing, I believe, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, honest, you know, sincere, and uh, uh, work hard and uh, do everything for, for shareholders, for the company, and more importantly, for the for society, mm. you know. And uh, I say many, many years, you know, for entrepreneur businessman, we often we need to think things beyond business, mm -hmm. you know. And especially solar PV and and uh, renewable energy, we're working to to solve problem. Okay, we know climate change is reality, right? So, so if we have such a vision, you know, we'll work hard for it, for it. And uh, okay, if when business comes down and uh, we, we're tough okay but but uh, we need to if we have a big big goal in mind and uh, we can always survive and and find solution because actually we are blessed yeah we have we have actually the chance to influence the world yeah yeah, yeah, yeah exactly i spend a uh, fair bit of my time you know uh, doing research trainings and uh, speeches you know try to spread out this uh, the, the crisis you know human beings are facing like uh, climate reality yes. yeah. and uh, general so you are one of the visionaries let's say of the industry and uh, I'm pretty sure you are observing now how everything uh, is developing in which direction do we go so how do you see the future of solar uh, the integration also of solar within the um, energy and transportation solution how do you see that yes. and what do, what would you like to do in your future also okay yeah I think now uh, cost of uh, PV will continue to come down probably the next five years, maybe another 30%, if not more cost reduction. So, so once we reach that goal, mainly, uh, basically, you know, the cost of electricity from solar, you know, will become generation parity, okay? Maybe cheaper than fossil fuel, you know, uh, uh, electricity. Mm -hmm. so, so by that time, uh, even these days I talk to people, hey, in five years time, generation from wind and solar will be free, mm -hmm. okay? I'm really serious think so. So in that case, you know, energy storage will become important. You know, everybody realize. And I believe in the next five years, if no longer, the cost of, uh, you know, our storage uh, uh, will also be reduced dramatically. And um, then integration, integration of all these renewable, you know, energies. I often think, what is the way to power the Earth 100% by renewables, right? This has to be integration of you know various technology together. You know, uh, generation, storage, heat, coal, and transport. Everything needs to be integrated. And also, uh, inter uh, we have to integrate the human thinking. Yeah. Yeah, that's the most important because we have to accept the mentality. So what I'm doing now, one of my acti uh, activities, you know, okay, I'm still supervising some PhD students in the university, work on some interesting project. At the same time, you know, I also help uh, young entrepreneurs to start up their companies. Okay, because I have, uh, you know, I have my own roadmap, you know, how to get the 100% power by renewables. So we need the bits and pieces, you know, to work out to try to integrate them together. 
So, so I imagine that you will be retired only when we reach 100% of renewables, yes? Yeah, hope, you know, th that's, my, that's my goal, my next goal. Okay, so, so what, is, uh, what is your dream about the future, about you and about your family and uh, in a private, uh, on a private basis? Okay, the private base, you know, has, uh, you know, been more time with, with family. My kids all grew up there. They will all go to university, you know, uh, uh, this September. Of course, I started to play golf some time ago, so I enjoy it very much. And um, as I said, I have a few activities going on, you know, manage the company and um, uh, help young people to start up uh, new companies and uh, also doing some research and also doing a lot of speech, you know, because... Um, you know what I basically what I speak talk about is is building a green, mm -hmm. sustainable, and an enjoyable future. So I just try to encourage young people. You know whatever you do is for enjoyment of our life, mm -hmm. but make sure for contribution also. Yeah, but do not sacrifice our planet. Okay, that's why it's so green, sustainable, and enjoyable. And uh, it's so awesome that we have people like you in this world. And uh, thank you so much also for spending time with us. And Jerong, let's see you next time in China maybe. Sure, sure. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thomas. That was uh, Solar PV TV from EU PVSEC 2016 from Munich with one of the people who are making this world better. Thank you so much. Thank you.